We have uh, our skin expert, Dr. Navjot Singh Arora, live from Delhi, to make aware on management of melasma and hyperpigmentation. Dr. Navjot Singh Arora is a renowned and trusted consultant dermatologist with expertise in laser and cosmetic treatments, anti-aging treatments, hair transplants, and vitiligo, vitiligo surgery. He is a consultant dermatologist at Derma Heal Skin and Hill Clinic and Manipal Hospital, Delhi. Today, Dr. Navjot Singh Arora will share with us on management of melasma and hyperpigmentation. Doctor, welcome. Thank you, ma'am. And first of all, we would like to have some clarity about uh, what is melasma? How would you like to define it? So melasma is one of the types of hyperpigmentation. So whenever uh, someone develops uh, uh, something which is darker than their particular skin tone on particular areas of the body, it is known as hyperpigmentation. So hyperpigmentation is a generalized term for any kind of pigmentation which is more than their usual skin tone. More than their usual skin tone. Now, melasma is a specific diagnosis which mainly occurs on the centrofacial area of the face, that is the butterfly area of the face, on the forehead, on the upper lip area, and rarely on the chest and other body parts, but mainly on the face. And melasma is typically seen after the after the puberty at any point of time but generally never seen before puberty most commonly seen either during pregnancy or just after pregnancy so because of these factors and since it is occurring on the face and since it is very commonly related to the hormonal fluctuations especially in females so it is it has become uh, very very common nowadays and it can occur even in males so it is not uh, limited to females, but yes, more common in females as compared to males. Right. So it is not uh, restricted to females, but yet more common, like we yes. said in the beginning that, for example, you know, more than 80 to 90 percent females experience melasma. We would also like to know the causes of melasma, doctor. So as I told, it is more common in females. So one of the cause of it to be more common in females is the uh, involvement of the hormones that is the uh, estrogen hormones that is the female hormones that is why it uh, appears uh, first time mostly during the pregnancy and then even sometimes after the pregnancy it may go away or may stay throughout the life when it goes away after pregnancy then we call it as cloasma while if it stays after that also then it is termed as melasma other reasons like uh, sun exposure can lead to increase in the melasma severity and it is also known as it is also thought to be one of the provoking factors then if the patient is taking hormonal pills maybe in the form of oral contraceptives then and if they have melasma or their family history uh, in their family history they have had melasma then they are more prone to develop or the melasma can get aggravated in these uh, women the another cause is uh, dysregulation of thyroid hormones it is seen that uh, hypothyroidism more, is more commonly associated with melasma than a youth thyroid condition that is a normal thyroid condition so exact clear cut cause is not known there are so many risk factors combination of one or more risk factors will lead to precipitation of melasma but sometimes patients come to us who are not going out in sun at all who are for example who are night shift workers or people who, uh, males who obviously won't have any hormonal fluctuations or won't have any OCPs, but they also develop very severe melasma, even when they don't have any family history of melasma. So yes, there are some cases in which we cannot pinpoint the reason, but we know that aggravating factors will still remain the same. Right, uh, very well explained, doctor. At least now we know what are the key factors or what are the risk factors that may cause melasma. We would also like to know that what is the difference between melasma and hyperpigmentation or are they the same? So hyperpigmentation is a very generalized term. Even if someone develops acne and then acne leaves a dark mark, it will be known as hyperpigmentation. If someone has a birthmark which is dark in color, 
it will be known as hyperpigmentation so hyperpigmentation is a generalized term then we have to differentiate and diagnose which kind of hyperpigmentation it is and melasma is one of the types of hyperpigmentation it is a specific diagnosis because the treatment of the hyperpigmentation conditions is not the same only one thing or two things remain the same that is sun protection sunscreens and one or two uh, agents will remain the same but the rest of the treatment will vary from condition to condition for example if a patient is taking oral contraceptive pills and they are having non melasma hyperpigmentation then it is not necessary that that is aggravated by oral contraceptive pill but if they are having hyperpigmentation in the form of melasma then yes they can it can get aggravated by oral contraceptive pill so first we have to make the diagnosis and then only we can go on to the treatment right and a person a layman can differentiate uh, within themselves there is no test that they can do at their home to find out whether it's hyperpigmentation or melasma we need to go and check with a dermatologist or a doctor right doctor yes okay and um, uh, before we move forward we would also like to understand what are the symptoms and signs of melasma as well as uh, hyperpigmentation like the signs when we see we should be aware and we should try to get in touch with our doctor so if you are experiencing brownish to uh, darkish discoloration especially in the cheek area that is the around the cheekbone or on the nose or on the forehead or near the lips which is a confluent pigmentation not dot 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 the if you are uh, uh, if the pigmentation is uh, in the form of a small or a larger patch it may be very light brown but it it may be very dark brown also so the color can vary the intensity can vary but the areas will almost always be this area and if especially in a pregnant female it starts that uh, almost always be uh, it is melasma only then uh, the other signs and symptoms are that there is no itching there is no burning there is no pain there are no symptoms which a patient can say ki mujhe isse koi problem hoti hai the only problem is the visibility that is they uh, they look ugly and look bad otherwise the patient will not have any symptoms the now, now hyperpigmentation again i said it is a broad broad term so depending upon the conditions the symptoms will vary so that we cannot discuss in one go that we have to go topic by topic but yes melasma the symptoms are very clear cut and mostly right. if the patient has read somewhere online mostly if the patient has is you know attending these sessions then they will be able to diagnose melasma by themselves also so it is not a very difficult diagnosis diagnosis is not very difficult but the treatment is quite prolonged okay as uh, you just mentioned that diagnosis saying a melasma or even a patient can uh, you know diagnose that okay this may be melasma and i should just go and check with my doctor but the treatment may take some time uh, when is the right time to go to the doctor uh, even if uh, it's a, about a pregnant lady and she is uh, you know seeing some signs of melasma should she be worried and go to the doctor immediately and or can she wait and see whether it's going away or fading no, away no, with no. time no 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 they should go immediately because mel- the one problem with melasma is that for example a patient comes to with me uh, to me with one single or a very small patch i at least i can arrest the progression of melasma or i can i can diminish the intensity of melasma but if the patient is coming to me after many years and they have very large patches all over the face and nose then i may be able to help the patient in some way or the other but then the response rate will be very slow and the amount of response which can be given in short period of time will be very less and the number of medications and other peels and lasers required would be quite a lot so obviously any disease it is true for any disease whenever you uh, catch something then you have to you know first know the diagnosis know the treatment protocol and know if you don't do the treatment what can happen so uh, for example if you are contracting a viral fever then mostly the doctor will say okay we should wait for 3 to 5 days because we know that is the protocol in a viral fever but in melasma it is not the protocol that we should wait we should always start treatment and depending upon the intensity and the area and for example the female is if the woman is pregnant obviously we will avoid oral medicines but if we can start with the cream sunscreen and the depigmenting agents 
Right. So this is a signal for all our viewers. Please, please don't wait or don't ignore if you are seeing signs of melasma uh, in your skin. Please go and meet your dermatologist. Uh, doctor, we would also like to know that uh, A, how you diagnose melasma when a patient comes to you and how do you treat? You already mentioned that it may take some time. So how the treatment? So I'll, I'll, I'll switch to the treatment because diagnosis I've already discussed. Yes, yes. So the first and foremost thing is to take a proper history that whether the, uh, if, if the person who is coming to me is a female, whether she is married or not, whether she is pregnant or not, whether she is taking any oral contraceptive pills or not, whether there is a history of thyroid problem or, or if I find that she has some symptoms which can reflect hypothyroidism, then I'll try to run a test for uh, thyroid problems. If I have uh, taken this history and I find nothing of these sorts, then the first and foremost thing is absolute sun protection, at least on the face. Now, the first thing comes to mind when we uh, provide sun protection is that vitamin D deficiency now. So I'll tell you, vitamin D cable face pe lena zaruri nahi hai. arms pe, legs pe bhi vitamin D le sakte hai, malab sun le sakte hai. So yes, you have to completely avoid sun exposure on the face, and you have to apply sunscreen daily, even when you are not going out in the sun. That this is a misconception in many Indians. In fact, that ne ham to bahar nikalte nahi hai, to hume sunscreen ki kya zarurat hai. So even when you don't have melasma. Photo aging is a is a very important concept that we the wrinkles of the face, the age spots, that is the freckles, the overall downward uh, uh, gravitation, the sagging, the, of the sagging of the face will increase with chronic UV damage to the skin, which can also be done when you are indoors because of the indirect sunlight or the uh, incandescent lamps which you use in the house. So not only the direct sun exposure is required, even indirect ultraviolet light can do photo damage and aggravate photo aging as well as melasma. So a broad spectrum sunscreen, when you go out in the sun, then you have to add a physical sun barrier, for example, a stole, a good thick cotton stole or an umbrella, or if you can, uh, 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 use a, if, if you can't use them either, either a hat or a cap or you can just you know try to uh, remain as much in the shade as possible so yes if you are going out in the uh, uh, in a party obviously you can't cover your face but yes you can uh, try to remain in the shade as much as possible so and broad spectrum sunscreen is to be applied has to be has to be applied and it has to be repeated after every three to four hours depending upon the type of sunscreen you are using, depending upon how much time you are in the sun, depending upon how much you do sweat actually and so that the sunscreen may not run out. And uh, if you are going for swimming or any uh, gym or yoga like that, where you may sweat a lot, so you have to uh, repeat the sunscreen also. It is not like that you have to apply once daily and then you are done. So one and the first and foremost is uh, ruling out other conditions which are associated. Second is sun protection. Now we come to the treatment of the already uh, melasma which has already happened. So depigmenting creams are obviously the first line. And the uh, composition varies from simple uh, creams which contain vitamin C, arbutin, niacinamide which are over the counter available easily to complex creams which contain kojic acid, hydroquinone, to further complex creams which also contain tretinoin and even st steroids. Now here comes the uh, very important uh, part that patients come to us nowadays with abuse of topical steroids on the face. That they, uh, some, they go to some chemist or they go to you know, just they ask their friend, Ki, tere bhi tha, tune kya kiya? and I have made this cream, lagai, isse mujhe shuru mein farak pada. But they don't know ki long term mein kya hoga. Because whenever you apply steroid on the face without prescription, without any knowledge, then you won't be able to stop it anytime soon because you will see dramatic results in the first two to three weeks. And you will feel ki haan, now this is a very good cream, I should apply it daily. And initially, steroids will uh, improve your face because they will cause some skin thinning. And with that skin thinning, upper layer which was pigmented will go. So you will, the side effect the skin thinning, which is a side effect, you will see as an effect. But as you keep applying steroid on the face, it will make your skin very thin. It will 
uh, irritate your blood vessels so they will dilate so your face will become red it will become irritated even if you go out for a one minute in the sun your whole face will become like angry red then you may start if you keep applying steroids on the face for long time without prescription without knowing the potency of the steroid you are using then you may start uh, observing that you are uh, having a lot of hairs on the face and then further the infections will start occurring on the face and you will start developing pimples so steroid abuse is altogether a different topic but i want to tell my viewers that please don't buy over the counter creams from medical stores without having proper knowledge of the composition of those creams many of the creams contain steroid it is not a company's mistake to make these creams but they are to be prescribed only once or twice a week and that too for a limited amount of time so that they just do only that much thinning or that much damage to the mineral head which is required but without causing long term damage to the face so that's why i was stopping uh, discussing this topic in so that's why i was discussing this topic in detail yes, uh, so yes. i have already discussed deep pigmenting creams which are obviously which will obviously be uh, decided by your dermatologist and you don't have to apply them uh, without seeking advice from a specialist now the next next would be the oral medicines so someone would feel that why are we giving oral medicines for for such a, such a small condition it is just pigmentation it will go away so uh, sorry for that but melasma is not that easy to treat it looks easy when the patient comes to us for the first time and they have no knowledge they think nahi ye to ek mahine mein theek ho jayega na iska to aap ek mahine mein theek kar do isko bas so everyone feels that it should be very easy but melasma is a condition which is very very resistant even with proper sun protection even with proper protocols which we have we there are books and books available only for the treatment of melasma like huge books available for only for the treatment of melasma so if it is something like that it must be very difficult and yes it is difficult because we have to keep changing the regimen so that we do not cause any side effect long term side effects on the skin and we still uh, keep the melasma at bay so oral medicines are required there are many examples again vitamin c supplements glutathione supplements then tranexamic acid one of the treatments which is actually given to females for decreasing the bleeding during their menstruation is one of the treatments which we use for decreasing melasma it has a proper mechanism of action which is obviously related to the other medical people not for the patients but yes it is a very important medicine and we use it very regularly for 6 to 9 months to decrease melasma and it acts beautifully right so these are the so these are the basic treatments yes these are the basic it's treatments basic. but then i think one of the very important take away is definitely that we should not become a doctor by ourselves and start getting medicines over the counter and start so treating our own patients uh, come to us ki maine youtube pe video dekhi thi us ladki ke to isse chale gaye to maine bhi lagayi then i tell them ki us ladki ko ek bar dhoondo aur usse poocho ki ab uske face ka kya haal hai ki ek mahina to uska acha raha face lekin 6 mahine baad kya halat hui face ki because no one uh, whenever we try to you know uh, writes uh, good something about and if something bad happens to us after 3 to 4 months we will always hide our face we will say near ab to maine post kar diya ab main usko kaise hataun ab to jo ho gaya so ho gaya chodo so we should take responsibility before posting anything on social media because in long term we may be doing damage to other people that's that's very true that's very important and we should always remember that as doctor have already stated that melasma is not so easy to treat so please consult your doctor before it's too 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 late and please don't do self medication it's going to harm you more than do you any good um uh, doctor so you have uh, so we have just finished the basic treatments right right I'll the just, basic I'll and just, then to I'll move just, forward yes i'll just tell you some of the advanced treatment we are using the mm-hmm. one of the advanced treatment is chemical peeling so but the word chemical seems like a very very scary thing to people but whatever you are applying even water h2o is a chemical so don't be scared of the word you just have to know that whatever your doctor is doing is doing for uh, uh, for improving your skin uh, pigmentation chemical peels if done carefully if done by a proper trained person and if done at proper intervals can have very dramatic uh, uh, 
response on some melasma patients uh, peels are nothing but concentrated form of the medicines which are to be applied directly in the doctor's clinic and cannot be given for home treatment as the patient may apply them uh, in more quantity than required or and they may then they may uh, then this may lead to some adverse reaction so obviously they are given in the doctor's clinic and then the patient is allowed to go home the skin may peel off for the next 3 to 4 days after the chemical peeling treatment depending upon the type of peel used you should not be just scared of the name chemical peeling you should first discuss with your doctor that which type of peel he is going to use what is that going to make a difference what precautions are required after that particular peel and what frequency the, your doctor is has in mind about that peeling treatment and if you are overall uh, getting satisfactory answers then i think you should go ahead if you have already tried the creams and tablets and then then there are other treatments like uh, lasers and glutathione injections uh, and mesotherapy which again requires different lecture i think so mm -hmm. yes we yes. should not discuss the doubts if your viewers have any Yes, yes. Uh, viewers are there with all their doubts. Um, Tripti Pandey is asking. Uh, she is having white spots on her skin uh, since childhood. What may be the reasons? How to treat? First of all, I would like to say that uh, viewers, please stick to the topic. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, if she has asked, I'll again uh, answer. That first, I have to make the diagnosis whether it is actually vitiligo or not. If it is vitiligo. then the treatment depends upon the duration of disease then the site of vitiligo and the extent of vitiligo in general i'll tell that if the vitiligo happens on the lips or on the extremities like the palm hand and feet and the sole of the feet then yes it becomes very difficult for us to completely clear the vitiligo but first we have to stabilize the disease but if the vitiligo is happen on other is happening on other parts of the body then with proper uh treatment it mm, it can it can be uh cured to cured uh in many people right it is a uh, whole different topic so i can't go in detail that much. we can have a different session sometime later but today we'll stick to our topic that is melasma sakshi yadav pooch rahi hai doctor ye kafi kuch waisi hi hai jaisa hum discuss kar rahe the ki bahut se log bahut jaldi isse najat chahte hain she is asking melasma ko theek karne ka sabse tez tarika kya hai jo tez tarika apna raha hai wo aage ja ke pachhtayega <laughs> तेज तरीके के चक्कर में नहीं राइट तरीके के चक्कर में पढ़ना है फॉर एग्जांपल मेरे पास एक पेशेंट आया किसी और डॉक्टर से अनसेटिस्फाइड और मेरे पेशेंट भी अनसेटिस्फाइड होकर दूसरे डॉक्टर के पास जाते होंगे कि आ, हमने क्रीम और टैबलेट ट्राई कर ली पर हमें पील तो करानी नहीं है तो आप हमें क्रीम और टैबलेट से ही ठीक करो लेकिन दूसरी क्रीम दो सो आई सी द प्रिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ अदर डॉक्टर दे आर ऑलरेडी डूइंग देर बेस्ट नाउ द पेशेंट वॉन्ट्स फास्टर ट्रीटमेंट विदाउट wanting to go to advanced treatments so then it becomes a situation that we cannot prescribe you lagane wala steroid for long time we have to keep the long term safety of the skin in mind without which the melasma will not be the problem then then the problem will be other conditions and they may be even more damaging than melasma so we have to decrease the pigmentation without making your skin thin without disturbing the deeper layers of the skin and without causing any long term damage to your body we cannot give tablets ki uh, in very high doses that you develop some liver problems so we have to keep everything in mind we are just not treating your skin we have to treat your uh, uh, psych psychic also that we cannot just uh, give you everything and anything and then you will say ki nahi isse to mera liver pe asar pad gaya बिल्कुल तो मुझे लगता है साक्षी यादव को अपना जवाब मिल गया है सवाल का तो तेजी डॉक्टर से मिलने में दिखाइए उनको ट्रस्ट करने में दिखाइए ट्रीटमेंट को लेकर इतनी जल्दबाजी ना करें आपके डॉक्टर बेहतर समझते हैं कि क्या दिक्कत है और किस तरह से उससे आपको निजात दिलानी है अः हेमा चौहान मुलाजमा ड्यू टू सम एलर्जी और इन्फेक्शन कैन दे कॉज ड्यू टू सम एलर्जी और इन्फेक्शन डॉक्टर नो नो I have already told you uh, about the causes of melasma. Right. Allergy and infection are not uh, the causes. Hmm. Uh, Shubham Saxena, पूछ रहे हैं कि 
क्या विटामिन लेने से मलाजमा सही हो सकता है आ, मलाजमा से बचने के लिए विटामिन सही है क्या विटामिन सी विटामिन ए विटामिन ई बीटा कैरोटीन प्रो एंथोसाइनिडीन नाम के सप्लीमेंट्स हैं जो मिलाजमा में कुछ हद तक काम करते हैं मिलाजमा की सीवरिटी को कम कर सकते हैं और ये बहुत सेफ भी होते हैं लॉन्ग टर्म के लिए विटामिन ए और विटामिन ई e तो हम फिर भी बहुत लंबे समय तक लगातार नहीं खा सकते बिकॉज दीज आर फैट्स सोलबल विटामिन बट विटामिन सी इज हाईली हाईली सेफ विटामिन एंड इट कैन बी टेकन फॉर लॉन्ग टर्म्स सो येस दीज आर वेरी सेफ दीज कैन टू सम एक्सटेंट डिक्रीज मिलाजमा बट they cannot cure melasma so if someone has started developing melasma there is no harm in starting these supplements initially and then the doctor can take over about how long they can be given and what can we do to prevent melasma doctor is there anything anything to follow for example if a person comes to me with a family history of melasma mm -hmm. एंड दे से कि मेरी तो सिस्टर को भी मलाजमा है मेरी मदर को भी मलाजमा है डॉक्टर को ऐसा बताइए कि मुझे मलाजमा ना हो सो इन दिस सिचुएशन द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट थिंग आई थिंक यू ऑल्सो नो वाई नाउ इज सन प्रोटेक्शन सनस्क्रीन अ ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम सनस्क्रीन नाउ पीपल कम टू अर्स कि मैंने इस कंपनी का सनस्क्रीन खरीदा मुझे ये सूट करता है मुझे ये लगाने में अच्छा लगता है पीपल वॉन्ट दो थिंग्स जो लगाने में अच्छा लगे भले ही उससे एक्चुअली में सन प्रोटेक्शन हो या ना हो एस पी एफ भी लुक जब भी हम सनस्क्रीन देखते हैं हम सीधा उसका एस पी एफ देखते हैं और खुश हो जाते हैं फोर्टी फिफ्टी ये तो बहुत बढ़िया हो गया सी एस पी एफ विल ओनली टेल यू द अल्ट्रा वायलेट बी लाइट से प्रोटेक्शन अल्ट्रा वायलेट ए के प्रोटेक्शन के लिए हमें पी ए रेटिंग देखनी पड़ती है पी ए वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस या फोर प्लस इसके अलावा हमें विजिबल लाइट से भी मिलाजमा के केसेस में जो ये लैपटॉप की स्क्रीन से लाइट्स आ रही हैं जो हमारी नॉर्मल घर में जो लाइट्स लगी हैं, उनसे जो लाइट्स आ रही हैं, उससे भी मिलाजमा बढ़ सकता है तो विजिबल लाइट से प्रोटेक्शन भी चाहिए और कुछ हद तक इंफ्रा लाइट से भी प्रोटेक्शन चाहिए तो ऐसे में ब्रॉड स्पेक्ट्रम सनस्क्रीन चूज करनी पड़ती है नो पीपल आर कम टू अस कि मैं ये एक आयुर्वेदिक सनस्क्रीन लगा रही हूँ और मेरे को इसको लगाने में बहुत अच्छी फीलिंग आती है वो तो मुझे ऑयली और व्हाइट कास्ट कर देती थी जो मैं लगाती थी Now again, I am not against Ayurvedic products, but अगर मुझे ये ratings जो कि actually sunscreen का एक protection factor बताती हैं, ये available नहीं है, so I cannot comment on that. So we have to sunscreen choose करना is a very important thing. हल्की फुल्की white casting करके किसी sunscreen से आ रही है, so you can obviously uh, try and massage it more and try to make it match with your own skin tone, or you can tell your doctor about it and he may choose a different product for you. बट जस्ट बिकॉज यू एंड अनदर अनदर प्रॉब्लम इज की लोग सनस्क्रीन को बिल्कुल वन पी साइज से भी कम लगा के सोचते हैं कि उससे हमारा फेस प्रोटेक्ट हो जाएगा सो so, सनस्क्रीन की जो रेटिंग्स है वो डिसाइड करता है कि आपने एटलीस्ट वन एंड हाफ टू टू फिंगर यूनिट फिंगर टिप यूनिट मतलब इतना सनस्क्रीन लगाना है फेस पे तब जाके वो उतना प्रोटेक्शन देंगे जो उसमें लिखा हुआ है अगर आप इतनी सी सनस्क्रीन को पूरे फेस पे लगा रहे हो तो हाउ विल इट गिव गिव यू द डिजायर प्रोटेक्शन so you have to keep in mind that you have to uh, apply sunscreen apply sun, a broad spectrum sunscreen proper quantity of the sunscreen if you are going out more than 2 to 3 hours then you have to repeat the sunscreen if you are sweating a lot then again you have to repeat the sunscreen and you have to choose your sunscreen according to your daily routine now even oral sunscreens are available now it is a uh, not a very new thing but yes people are not aware that beta carotene and podophyllotoxin podophyllo uh, toxin are compounds which can give you sun protection in the form of oral tablets so if a person is come comes to me and he is an athlete he is daily running here and there in the sun then how can he apply sunscreen after every 2 hours he cannot so yes he can then take some oral supplements which will give you internal sun protection so the prevention is sun protection and mild depigmenting creams in the form of vitamin c serums in the form of niacinamide in the form of arbutin which are safe in long term like safe for very long term can be applied even in, in those who have just uh, tendency to develop melasma right uh, doctor will take one more uh, viewers question shubh mishra is here is asking what types of skin are more prone for developing hyperpigmentation so uh, pigmented skin are more prone to develop hyperpigmentation for example mm -hmm. uh, 
we classify the skin into six prototypes one to six one means a very very um, fair skin like we see in the american population and uh, six means african uh, african type or negroid skin so we indians fall in three and four category uh, in which we are slightly darker than the uh, uh, american skin and obviously fairer than the african skin but the darker the skin they whenever there would be slight trauma to the skin the more there were more chances of hyperpigmentation for example if a person who has acne and she is very fair she or he is very fair then even if the acne will go scars may be there but hyperpigmentation will be less while if a person who is having a type 4 or type 5 skin and after resolution of acne the chances of development of dark marks will be more in such type of patients right uh shilpi yadav is asking will melasma spread can it spread no melasma is generally localized to the face rarely on the upper chest and uh, more rarely on the arm but it it cannot spread on whole body there is no such study indicating that and doctor uh, there are some misinformation misconception associated with melasma can you uh, enlighten them one by one regarding melasma like uh, there are many mis uh, information regarding melasma uh, misinformation in the form of what uh, there are people when they go to a doctor or even when they find out that there is a spot maybe to a pregnant lady if she is uh, she has started appearing a, a spot in her skin she'll say that maybe it will just go away let's not uh, go to the doctor or any other thing which actually hurdles them to go and uh, contact a doctor and take for proper treatment one misconception with many people is that if i'll go to the doctor the doctor will give me steroids i don't know why uh, there is a misconception regarding this maybe because of the old teachings uh, people still or because of the internet which which tries to uh, school everyone without uh, by themselves only so no we don't use steroids regularly in fact even if i have to give a steroid to a patient i have to first uh, give them the proper information about why i am giving steroid and why it is needed otherwise i won't be even giving steroids the second thing is that nowadays uh, there is a conception that everything which is natural is mm. good and everything which is unnatural is bad aajkal bahut saalon se colgate aa raha hai hum sab ne colgate tapsurant toothpaste use kiye honge but उन कंपनीज पे भी इतनी टेंशन हो गया कि उन्होंने भी कोलगेट नेचुरल वेबसोडेंट नेचुरल निकालना शुरू कर दिया जो उनको पता भी नहीं था कि ऐसा कुछ निकालने की कभी जरूरत पड़ेगी तो mm-hmm. so, ऐसा नहीं है कि हम जो यूज कर रहे थे वो गलत था इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द मार्केटिंग प्रेशर दैट पीपल आर डूइंग दिस हम लोग हेयर डाई सब लोग लगाते होंगे जो भी थर्टी फोर्टी फिफ्टी क्रॉस कर जाता है वो हेयर डाई लगाना शुरू कर देता है किसी को नहीं पता होता कि वो केमिकल ही है आखिरकार और सब में पैराफिनाइलिन डाईमीन नाम का केमिकल है जिसके एलर्जी के केस हमारे पास डेली आते हैं और वो उन केसेस में ज्यादा आते हैं जिनपे लिखा होता है नेचुरल हेयर डाई सो नेचुरल वर्ड का ये मतलब नहीं है कि वो सेफ है सांप का जहर भी नेचुरल है स्नेक्स पॉइजन इज आल्सो नेचुरल इट डज नॉट मीन दैट इट इज सेफ इफ वी नो दैट वी आर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग सम इम्पोर्टेंट एक्टिव कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट आउट ऑफ अ नेचुरल थिंग इट डज नॉट मीन इट विल बिकम इन नेचुरल अन आप पूरा का पूरा नीम का पेड़ लगा दो नीम का पत्ता पीस के लगा दो घाव पे या उसका एक्टिव कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट जो वुंड हीलिंग में हेल्प करता है वो लगा दो काम वो उतना ही करेगा सो इट डज नॉट मीन कि हमें ये ट्रस्ट करना है कि बस ये नेचुरल है तो ये इफेक्टिव है ये नेचुरल है तो ये सेफ है सो इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट वी हैव टू एग्जामिन क्या इस पर कितनी स्टडीज हैं इन स्टडीज में कितनी इफेक्टिवनेस इसकी पाई गई है और कितने प्रपोर्शन में साइड इफेक्ट पाए गए हैं अगर साइड इफेक्ट पाए गए हैं तो वो किस तरह के पाए गए हैं so that's that's how we decide our treatment it is not ki bas natural and unnatural ke basis pe treatment hoga mm-hmm. right and uh, dr palak dubey ek uh, 14 year old teen hai aur uh, do unke questions hai ek question hai ki kya melasma puri tarah se curable hai dusra question bahut important hai doctor uh, unko pooch rahe hain i am a 14 year old teen girl so i have hyperpigmentation around my lips so as i was browsing through youtube i saw many doctors recommend a particular cream uh, it's melaglo cream to apply 
So I have a doubt that as I'm a 14 year old, can I use that cream? Please reply, sir. So first of all, melasma, puri tarah kyo roga hai, nahi roga hai, pata na, bhoat mushkil hai. Kam to ho jayega, bhoat had tak 80, 90 percent tak. But agar patient sun protection nahi kare, patient sun me ghume, sunscreen na lagaye, ya treatment achanak se drop kar de, to bilkul melasma vapis aa sakta hai. It can come back. Now, next question, उन्होंने पूछा कि वो lips के आसपास pigmentation है. सबसे पहले तो मैं ये कोशिश करनी चाहिए पता लगाने की कि वो है क्यों. जैसे most commonly क्या होता है कि कई लोगों की lip licking की आदत होती है, वो बार-बार अपने tongue से lip को wet करते रहते हैं, because उनको lips dry रहते हैं. उसका आरण जो हमारा saliva है, वो lips के बाहर की skin पे बार-बार touch माइक्रो इंजरी को ठीक करने के चक्कर में पिगमेंटेशन ज्यादा बनाने लगती है ये हमारी स्किन का एक प्रोटेक्टिव रिस्पांस होता है कि जहां भी हमें माइक्रो इंजरीज होंगी वहां स्किन मेलानिन का प्रोडक्शन बढ़ा देगी तो अगर इफ शी हैज दिस हैबिट आई डोंट नो आई एम नॉट इवन टॉकिंग टू हर राइट नाउ सो यस इट कैन इंक्रीज द पिगमेंटेशन अराउंड द लिप्स नाउ मेलाग्लो की बात करते हैं मेलाग्लो सिंस मेलाग्लो में ना स्टेरॉइड है ना हाइड्रोकिनोन है so it is overall very safe product, but it does not mean that ये 100% curative product है. That too we have to analyze कि exactly ये चीज हो क्यों रही है, and then we will be able to decide. Right. So she should actually go and consult her doctor or dermatologist. Whenever we have a condition, we first have to know कि why it is happening. Right. If we are able to know the why, then only we will to treat, we will to know how to treat it. Yes. Uh, Amrita Singh, I think she is already taking some depigmentation laser treatments. So she is asking, hello, can lip depigmentation laser treatment and facial hair laser treatment be done together in the same setting? Yes, why not? Both are two different lasers. And since on the lip area, we won't be doing the laser hair removal. So yes, they can be done in, in the same setting. Okay. And Mekha Sharma has a question. She is asking, I have pigmentation and dark circles on my face. I have applied various creams, which we were already discussing, but it didn't help. What shall I do now? So again, dark circle is one of the layman term. It is not a diagnosis. So we first try to make the uh, exact diagnosis behind the dark circle. That is the reason behind the dark circle. And then we delineate the cause. Sometimes it may be just because of the genetic factor in which the patients have a less fat pad behind their eye. And this leads to the sunken look of the eyes. And this is also, uh, the patient will just feel dark circle. N next, they may be wrinkling behind, uh, below the eyes because of the uh, genetic factor or because of the aging. So again, it will uh, look as a dark circle. So depending upon the cause we have to treat, if they, it is due to the sunken look, then the creams will not help. Then the only thing which will help is a, either a filler treatment or a fat grafting treatment. If it is because of the wrinkling, then we have to first look whether it is increasing with expression or not. And then we have to decide either Botox treatment or we have to do uh, the anti-aging creams and uh, further products in the form of peels or in the form of hyaluronic uh, injections. So yes, we have to first know the cause of the dark circles and then we can only decide the treatment. The only depigmenting creams cannot cure dark circles. Right. So Mekha, stop using over-the-counter creams, uh, stop using uh, depigmentation creams and just go and consult your doctor. That's more important because first they'll diagnose and then they'll uh, decide over the line of treatment and what they can suggest to you. Uh, doctor, can melasma turn into cancer? No, no, no. There are no such reports like that. Okay. And uh, is melasma a hereditary disease? Because you already stated that if a person... There is more chance. Your... There yes, is more yes. chance. When okay. you have a family history of melasma, hmm. there is more chance, but it does not mean that it will always happen. It is just like if, if someone has a family history of diabetes or someone has a family history of hypertension, it does not mean that it will definitely, they will also develop diabetes or hypertension, but the chances will obviously increase. Hmm. Uh, doctor, I would also like to know that we know that a healthy lifestyle is important, not only for our well-being, a good body, but also for a good flowing skin. Now, in the case of melasma, can a healthy lifestyle or healthy diet 
keeps us uh, away from as I, as I already as i already discussed vitamin c a e zinc selenium beta carotene photophyllotoxin all these are micronutrients which are helpful in decreasing the intensity of melasma and making your skin light uh, glutathione is one of them so if a person includes these things in their diet in the form of fruits in the form of green leafy vegetables in the form of uh, uh, non vegetarian foods have a lot of omega 3 fatty acids and a lot of uh, uh, vitamin a then yes it can help right but again it is not a proven thing it is not a uh, the only thing which will uh, cure melasma right it will help in some way or the other okay doctor uh, sarika dhamal is asking what hormone causes melasma very specific question so the estrogen the estrogen excess which is seen in pregnancy and due to the intake of oral contraceptive pills is known to aggravate melasma it is again uh, a thing which can which is not always there it is not like every pregnant female will develop melasma but yes there is a more tendency it is just like that that if someone develops covid it does not mean that every everyone will develop severe covid so these are these are things which are known to aggravate melasma but it is not always okay let's take one more question from our viewers uh, anshul gupta is here he is asking which cream is best for melasma is not like that it is not like that there is no thing we have already discussed it uh, i cannot i cannot you know exactly uh, delineate ki nahi sab log ye laga lo otherwise i would become just another quack and i'll be just another medical store person who is giving creams x y and z and in long term they may cause problems without uh, understanding the skin of the patient when understanding their sun protection part whether they are doing or not so we should not do that right right and uh, as we all know that we are individuals we are different individuals different kind of skin different causes are there which may have caused uh, you know uh, melasma and other skin related issues so better to go to a doctor and consult please 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 stay away from uh, over the counter medicines it will actually cause more harm to you so please stay away i think that's one important take away from the session that you can take uh, rajat is here is asking sir can melasma go away by using home remedies a lot of people waste a lot of time because they think that maybe home remedy will do the wonder what's your take on it doctor so the problem uh, with home remedies is that there is no quantification of which home remedy which person is doing in how much concentration are doing we doc we as doctors are to have to uh, we have a lot of responsibility when we when patients come to us we have to advise them those things which are which are proven in randomized studies for example if i am prescribing a cream then i can give you the data regarding the composition of the cream ki itne percent logon mein itna improvement is cream se aaya aur iska ye composition ka itne logon mein सौ या सौ में से एक या दो को जो भी छोटा मोटा साइड इफेक्ट हुआ अब होम रेमेडी तो बहुत सारी चीजों की हो सकती है एंड पीपल मिक्स एंड मैच डिपेंडिंग अपॉन देयर एथनिक एथनिक एंड देयर कल्चरल एंड देयर रीजनल एंड देयर दादी का नुस्खा एंड देयर नानी का नुस्खा विच कैन बी वेरी वेरी स्ट्रेंज ऑल्सो सो होम रेमेडीज आर ऑब्वियसली नॉट द परफेक्ट ट्रीटमेंट इफ यू हैव कॉन्फिडेंस ओवर सम ऑफ योर ओन होम रेमेडी विच इज शूटिंग यू एंड विच इज नॉट actually cause have caused any problem in the long term i don't have any issue with that but i cannot prescribe any home remedy because i don't have any data behind it whenever i have to speak something to my patient or i have to prescribe something i am in a i am in a responsible chair and i have to respect that chair so i have to uh, whatever i prescribe i have to have uh, data behind it exactly right and as you have already mentioned that diagnosing the issue is very important it's very important that we first diagnose that what have uh, caused it so it won't happen if we are at home and we just go become our own doctor so it's better to consult your doctor your dermatologist uh, doctor kai baar aisa bhi hota hoga patients jab aapke paas aate honge melasma ki problem ko lekar to aapko lagta hoga ki kaash ye mere paas pehle aaye hote या 
so okay i'll just uh, i'll just show some of the photos on my mobile only i'll no yes yes then i'll do it like that only uh first i'll show some photos of steroid abuse on the face mm -hmm. that what happens when people so you don't have to take them very seriously but since you all are not doing that but just to keep you away from the over the counter creams so when patients come to us after abusing steroids so am i visible yes yes so this can happen patients started treating their melasma by over the counter creams and this can lead to redness of the face the damage on the face which you can see clearly the infections on the face and the growth of hairs on the face so mm -hmm. patients still keep coming to us one or two in a week who have actually caused this much damage to their skin and they still are not able to leave the steroids because now they have depend become dependent on it if they don't apply steroids they feel that their skin is burning itching as soon as they apply steroids they feel okay now it is comfortable but they are it is just like an alcohol addiction that every alcoholic person knows that yes they have to leave alcohol but they are not able to leave because now now they have become addicted to it right so similarly the steroid dependent patients become addicted to the uh, usage of steroids and when we slowly taper it off initially the dark skin will come back and then only we will be able to make it light because the skin has to come back the skin has become very thin first we have to let the particular thickness of the skin to come back and then only we will treat melasma so then it becomes a problem so this is where we feel ki ya kaashi patient pehle aaya hota ya fir isne ye sab na kiya hota Hmm. there are patients who become, who respond dramatically that also i can show okay so one of the just to zoom it so one of the cases of melasma is this okay she had a very bad melasma mm -hmm. and she improved dramatic i'm not saying that she was cured of melasma but yes she improved dramatically right so there are many cases like this uh so yeah so the key uh, the basic keynote is that one, uh, of, them is, one of them is this guy yes, who had yes. very severe melasma and we were able to give him good results right so these are my patients mm -hmm. and this is what happens when you reach you contact your doctor at the earliest uh, so it's important to contact your doc doctor as soon as you feel that there is something wrong with my skin maybe i am spotting some you know freckles or pigmented skin or whatever just go and contact your doctor and please 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 again don't use the creams uh, by going through the videos that are available online or whatever advertisements advertisements are going on just uh, contact your doctor before you use everything i want to, uh, I want the, to bring one thing yes uh, i want to bring one thing you must all be knowing that alcohol brands are not able to advertise on television Right. but then they do pseudo, pseudo advertisements in the form of music cds and in the form of sodas right so similarly many steroid based creams which are i can't name the brand otherwise the mm -hmm. brand may sue me they uh, advertise in television and in newspaper in the form of face wash in the form of um in the form of like shampoo and when they develop that trust of people then uh, the creams uh, then they start selling the creams which contain steroids and people ne iska face wash to bahut acha suit kiya tha so iski cream bhi suit karegi and people start buying them and medical store people who don't even have knowledge that this cream actually has steroid they uh, start giving them so that's why uh, it is very important to whenever you look at the composition just not because you are a doctor not because i don't i don't i'm not saying i'm not telling you that nahi is pe doctor hi aap apni karo bas itna dekh lo composition mein ki teen char jo dawaiyan likhi hain unme se jab aap google pe dalo uska naam ke aage steroid likha to nahi aa raha hai so then it's a warning sign for you ki na nahi use karna bina bina doctor se puche ki actually main ye use karna bhi hai aur karna hai to kaise karna aur kab tak karna hai aur hafte mein kitni baar karna hai 
राइट तो ये देख लेना भी बहुत जरूरी है कि अगर आप कोई क्रीम सिर्फ इसलिए ले रहे हैं कि उसका एडवर्टीजमेंट आपको अच्छा लगा या उससे रिलेटेड उससे पहले के कुछ प्रोडक्ट्स उस ब्रांड के आपको सूट किए थे प्लीज उसके कंपोजिशन को देखिए थोड़ा बहुत गूगल कीजिए कहीं उसमें स्टेरॉइड्स तो नहीं है प्लीज डॉक्टर से जरूर कंसल्ट करें अगर स्किन को लेकर कोई भी प्रॉब्लम हो रही है एक आखिरी छोटा सा सवाल डॉक्टर में ले लेती हूँ एक और हमारे व्यूअर है बहुत जल्दी से रवीना शिंदे पूछ रही है कैन आई यूज पेंट्रम Double plus as a night cream. Now comes, now mm-hmm. comes the main thing. I would uh, advise. I can't uh, take the name of the brand again. Ah uh-huh. ha. I would advise the user. Ye Pandrum plus plus triple plus four plus one plus. Go Google pe type kare. Iske composition ko padhe. Isme jo first composition, jo first salt hai. Main bina dekhe bata sakta hu. Wo Clubita salt hoga. Aur usko dhyan se padhe. और उसका अब यूज ऑन द फेस पड़े और आप उसके बाद कभी उसको यूज करने की हिम्मत नहीं करेंगे राइट आई थिंक सिर्फ प्लीज डोंट यूज इट प्लीज डोंट यूज इट राइट तो आई थिंक सिर्फ रवीना को ही नहीं जो हमारे दूसरे तमाम व्यूअर्स देख रहे हैं जो अभी भी ये सर्च uh, करते हैं ऑनलाइन की कौन सी क्रीम मेरे पिगमेंटेशन uh, को या मलाजमा को ठीक कर सकती है आजकल गूगल एड पे चलता है Right. जैसे आप मिलाजमा टाइप करोगे आप क्रीम्स के एड शुरू हो जाएंगे और उनके रिव्यूज भी शुरू हो जाएंगे और आपको लगेगा इनके तो बहुत अच्छे रिव्यूज हैं बट आई थिंक अब तक तो हम सबको पता चल गया होगा कि रिव्यूज खरीदना और लिखवाना तो कोई बड़ी रिव्यूज का जमाना है आई कीप गेटिंग कॉल्स फ्रॉम सो मेनी कंपनीज डेली की आपकी क्लिनिक के रिव्यूज बहुत कम है हम बढ़ा देते हैं और आपके फाइव स्टार रिव्यूज में हम एड कर देते हैं तो प्लीज आप रिव्यूज को देख के अगर आप किसी चीज को ट्रस्ट कर रहे हैं वो भी अपने स्किन को लेके जो मतलब अगर डैमेज हो गई तो उसको रिकवर करते करते सालों लग जाएंगे तो प्लीज डोंट डू दैट राइट तो एक तो सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट बात कि खुद ही मेडिकेशन ना करें खुद ही ओवर द काउंटर कोई दवाई भी ना ले क्रीम भी ना ले कोई प्रॉब्लम है तो प्लीज अपने डॉक्टर से मिले ये बहुत जरूरी है नहीं तो आपकी स्किन आपके हाथों की सबसे ज्यादा खराब होगी और फिर उसे ठीक करने में बहुत समय लग सकता है और शायद वो ना हो तो प्लीज अपने डॉक्टर से जरूर कंसल्ट करें थैंक यू सो वेरी मच डॉक्टर नवजोत सिंह अरोरा फॉर योर वैल्यूएबल टाइम मैन इट हैज बीन क्वाइट एन इन्फॉर्मेटिव सेशन फॉर आवर व्यूअर्स आई एम श्योर वी रियली लुक फॉरवर्ड फॉर मेनी मोर सच सेशंस इन द कमिंग टाइम्स डॉक्टर अरोरा थैंक यू मैम आई एंजॉयड दिस टू थैंक्स फॉर होस्टिंग इट नाइसली Yeah, and thank you, viewers, for an excellent participation. For more information and updates on skin care, stay connected on our FB page, Beautiful Spotless Skin. We are also available on YouTube, Twitter, and Insta. Thank you, and good day to all of you.